Hi, my name is Jan Hennecke and I'm the product manager for low-cost automation here at IGIS. Welcome back to our IGIS classroom series. And as you know, we have uh, a lot of different robots here at IGIS. And today I want to talk to you about the different kinematics and what they do. Kinematics describes different robot types that have different uh, motion profiles. It can go from a linear system that moves in XYZ to a robot arm that can do very complex motions. Here at IGIS, we have all kinds of different robots, so I want to make sure that I can explain to you what the different robots do, when they're good to be used, and when to not use them. We're going to talk about robot arms, as well as delta robots and gantry robots. Those are our most popular robot types. Let's start with the gantry robot. The gantry robot, as you can see here, has a very large work area, can be size adjusted and have a really high payload and do a moderate speed. Next is the robot arm. You can see it has a very complex motion area, so it can do complex motions, it can do multiple moves, uh, but the downside is that it has a slower speed and usually a lower payload. Lastly, the Delta. The Delta is known to be really fast and very precise, but it comes with the downside of a smaller work area and a low payload. Let's dive a little bit deeper into each of these products to understand where can I use them and what are their limitations. First is the robot arm. We have multiple robot arms in the Agus portfolio. One is the Rebel our six-axis collaborative robot arm, usually used for quality control, for pick-and-place application, assembly, but also material removal. This robot has a cobot function. It is developed after our industrial series, the RoboLink. The RoboLink is an industrial robot. It comes without the cobot function, but with a slightly higher payload of 30 newtons with a slightly larger uh, workspace of 750 millimeters and a process time of about six seconds. So about 10 picks a minute. We also have the RoboLink in a splashdown version, so you can use it in washdown and other applications. Next, I want to talk about the Delta robot. The Delta robot is our most straightforward product with two different types, the three axis Delta robot and the two axis Delta robot. They come in two sizes, in a large size and a small size. Delta robots are usually used for pick and place application, conveyor picking application, and sorting applications because they're really fast and can pick small parts fairly quickly. The payload is up to five kilograms and it has a workspace of up to 660 millimeters in diameter and a pick rate of up to 60 picks per minute. The repeatability is really good with a 0.3 millimeters. Next, I want to talk about the gantry. Here you can see our room gantry with three degrees of freedom in the planar but also in the z-axis. We also have flat gantries as you can see here. They only work on an area as well as line gantries that basically have one linear actuators and one z actuator. I also wanted to show you some of our custom linear slides that uh, we can develop to your need where for example here we can see a two timing belt conveyor that uses two motors and therefore can have two slide tables on top of it to manipulate two axes at the same time. The payload is up to 20 kilograms with these gantries and the workspace can go up to three, three meters by three meters by 750 millimeters and we can reach a process time of up to uh, 30 picks per minute. Depending on your gantry system, we can reach a repeatability of 0.3 millimeters. So usually, as I said, we like to use these for pick and place applications, uh, material handling, but also inspection automation and many, many more. Uh, this is the all-rounder of automation, really. These were the three main types, the robot arm, the delta robot, and the gantry robot. We also have some other automation equipment that is really useful and we typically recommend to customers. One is the seventh axis. The seventh axis extends the work area of a robot arm. 
This means instead of having a really large robot arm that takes up a lot of space, you can make your robot arm more efficient by driving it back and forth. This means it can drive from one station to another station, but it can also service the whole area it passes in the meantime. This is great for material removal, all kinds of pick and place application, has a really good ROI as well. In addition to that, to control all of these robots, we have two types of control system. One is the plug and play IGUS robot control, which you can control any of our kinematics from. It comes with the free software that you can download online and simulate your automation task before you purchase, or the D1, which is our motor driver modules that can help you build your custom controls unit. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned a little bit more about the different robot kinematics and how to use them in your automation processes. Now, you don't have to choose the robot yourself. You can always reach out to me. You can find more information on igis.com as well as rbtx.com or follow any of the links in the description. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the IGIS Classroom series and I hope to see you next time.